Hi, uh, my name is Nikita. Uh, I'm currently in year 12. Uh, I'm a boarder at BISP. And uh, today on the podcast, I have a really good friend of mine, uh, Agam. Uh, Agam, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. So uh, my name is Agam Rosen. I am from Israel, first year here at BISP. And I am a boarder, new boarder. Yeah, how does it feel to be a boarder now? Well, I mean, it's, uh, I would say it's pretty nice since I already have good connections with people there. I already have good friends. Uh, it's pretty organized. Uh, food is nice too. Very organized schedule yeah. and it's nice, yeah. Like, do you feel more independent now? Like, how, how does it like, you know, like, wh- what do you think the differences are? Like, living with your family and just living by yourself? Like, not living by yourself, but, you know, like, being more independent. Uh, I feel like, yeah, I, I have gained a bit of independence because of it. Uh, mostly, of course, it's also a lot more fun. Because, yeah. yeah, it's fun to be with family, but with friends, it's a bit different. Uh, and yeah, it's, uh, I've become a lot more independent, uh, schedule makes me a schedule, strict schedule, but uh, still a nice schedule makes me have enough time to study and be with friends. And it's very organized. I say, I like it. It's quite nice, right? Like yeah, yeah. prep is, is amazing. Don't you think? Mm, yeah. like, I think without it, I wouldn't like get any work done. Yeah. I mean, back at home for me, I would try to get work done, but here it just, it, it, it just, makes, just it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I like, I'm a type of like environment kind of person like if everybody else is doing like mm-hmm. work it kind of like motivates me as well mm-hmm. so i actually don't know much about you you know like we've been friends for so long like where were you before uruguay ireland brazil i, I, I don't remember like I, th- I don't think you ever told me like where were you before this yeah so before this i studied at ireland uh-huh. uh, spanish school for two years yeah and before that i studied at two years in Uruguay. So that's why I got my Spanish, yeah. Oh, I swear you speak other languages as well. What was it, Hebrew? Yeah, Hebrew. How, where'd you learn that from? It's uh, my mother tongue, first language, because I'm from Israel. Oh, that, that's your first language? Yeah, yeah. So what's your second, Spanish? No, English. English. Spanish. I see, I see. So you, you, you would say your like, strongest like language is what, it, Hebrew or? I would say in writing, definitely English. Yeah. Uh, speaking, still Hebrew. So do you communicate with your parents in English or? In Hebrew, yeah. But I would say uh, because since I moved to kind of like English or Spanish schools, I've kind of lost a bit of my Hebrew, yeah, especially yeah. in the writing part. Yeah, yeah, same. Like I used to study in Chinese school. Mm. Uh, my Chinese was like peak. But now it's kind of like I can't I can't write much sentences, you know? Yeah, I, I'd expect I'd, I'd expect like speaking to be like your best and then writing just yeah or reading but you know so um term three big term yeah what do we have our ee doing like a week a week yeah and then wait, when's our exams like 22nd of may 22nd 23rd yeah ios too io mock real io yeah big stuff it's crazy how fast it's gone hasn't it yeah yeah like term three it's gone so fast you know like mm end of year test like that's that's so like that's a lot of stress you know yeah i would say that it's uh this type of strategy by the school it would make it a lot easier for us in year 13 yeah which is when we actually do have the the real test so um but it is stressful but that's i mean that's part of the process and uh taking that stress off year 13 is quite important because we are already going to have to finish ees ias and all the other things in the summer so yeah so what topics do you take uh my high levels are design technology uh computer science and maths aa and my standard levels are spanish b uh english a what else business management and am i missing one there's six yeah i think you named all six yeah probably yeah so from what i heard like all your hate like all your topics Mm. it kind of sounds like like you want to be an engineer is that is that is that is that that correct yeah something like that yeah what what do you find so interesting about it i mean i would say that the it's being an engineer would give me the perks of having the, the practical knowledge as well as the 
scientific, more theoretical knowledge. Oh, in so, whatever I choose, yeah. So, what uni would you like to go if you wanted to, like, what unis are there? Like, what country? Like, what's the top for engineering? Like, what would you like to go to? So, my my top, my goal, I would say, is King's College, uh -huh. uh, London. And I would like to study there electronic engineering. Yeah. It's obviously a very challenging course, but I would, to do that, I would need to, um, the, the most difficult part of uh, getting to the entry entry requirements would be a six in HL maths. A six. Obviously very challenging, but currently I'm at a five. Uh huh. And uh, I would say if I if I keep going at the rate where I'm going at, I would it would be very possible. So. So explain to me, like I don't know how it works really well. Like, do we apply to uni with our predicted grades that we get during November or? Yeah. Like so. In, in general, it depends on where you apply. So this place is like the UK, you apply a lot earlier. Yep. So it is, uh, you're gonna apply, if you wanna go to the UK, you're gonna have to use the first version of your predictive grades, which I think is kind of like the beginning of uh, year 13 first term. Uh, but of course they update it as the, uh, as next year goes on. Yeah. But it really depends on where you're trying to apply. Like what exams do you have? Like what are all these papers? Like paper one, like business and all that stuff. Yeah, we got quite a bit. And now it's the thing about the mocks is that it's the closest exam that we're gonna have to the real test. Yeah. So it's obviously very challenging. Like we go from one hour test to maybe even two hour tests. And per subject, it's not just one test about one topic. It's like two papers about everything we learned about so yeah it's obviously pretty challenging but it's uh from what i get it's going to be pretty important it's going to have a big effect on our predictive grade which uh, is going to be used for a university so very important yeah. so aside from like school and all the academics like mm -hmm. what about like sports and stuff like what, what would you say is your most favorite sport i would say i would say probably football football i, I like it more for fun uh, yeah yeah you know, football as a football here is a really popular sport, you know. Like I mm. see a lot of people playing it. Especially like there's a whole academy there for it. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about joining or is it just like more of a hobby? Like I would say it's more of a hobby for me, but uh I know the, the academy is pretty serious. It becomes like uh for people who are actually dedicated to football, uh, -huh. uh they go there because it kinda changes your schedule and where you're trying to get to, like uh your grades and how much time you study on which topics because training there is very intensive but that's why it's because uh it's for the people who are very dedicated to football want to do it for their career or something yeah, yeah so so in terms of like engineering like what do you like what's your passion about it like what do you like do you like the building like what's i, I know you have quite a few like prototype mouses in your room like yeah are you planning to make like electronic gadgets or something yeah so in my in my past i was always uh i had a couple personal projects about just uh engineering and uh specifically the electronic side and uh yeah i would say i kind of more of an independent type of uh uh i, I would make my own projects even if it wasn't for school uh -huh. and yeah i would i would hopefully want to after the degree, get enough knowledge, practical knowledge and uh, theoretical knowledge to be able to buy myself, just be able to build things like uh, gadgets or uh, actual devices. So, you know, I heard you also talk about refractory food. I, I heard you genuinely like it, you know, factory food, like, oh, reflectory food, <laughs> reflectory. Who says that, man? Yeah, yeah. I, I like it as well, you know, like, yeah, it's pretty nice. I, I think it's better for us because we don't have to spend time cooking, like clean dishes, mm. get in, get out. It gives us so much more time on like focusing yeah, it's, on it's studies. It's a very efficient system. Yeah, too, yeah, I yeah. Would say, yeah. Um, I would say also like the, the food, even for me as a as person who is vegan, but now eats eggs, it was a uh, very not complicated, very simple to find food that I can eat. Yeah. Not just to find food, like simple rice and uh, something on the side, but like actually good food you know tasty whole food yeah yeah and it beats like my cooking like in reality i can only cook one dish which is mm. fried rice mm. 
I just grab whatever is in the fridge. You know. Yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah. Um, thank you guys for listening. Um, this this is this has been Agan Rosen, and um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you.